Today I want to talk about 8th grade and to be specific I want to talk about advice for you guys and things that I wanted people to tell me when I was going into 8th grade. So this is kind of going to be a do as I say not as I do type of thing because I wish that somebody would have told me all of these things when I was going into 8th grade. So I am just going to let you guys know what I wanted to know. So let's just get right into the video because I don't know how long this is going to be. I wrote down all of the topics in my notes on my phone and the first topic that I have, surprisingly, is boys. Now, if you know that a boy is going to your high school and you have been like little lovers like since forever and you think you're going to marry this person, like okay you can like you can date him in eighth grade like dating is fine in eighth grade you know but you just like it starts getting more serious as you get older and you just want to be like careful about it and you want to know that it's something that you kind of want to be for real with otherwise just be friends with them it is so much easier to just have friends like to be friends with guys and like just just like hang out with them but don't get too serious like usually what happens if is if you're really good friends with a guy then it kind of turns into something else just keep it at friend just friend zone it right away just say let's just be friends like it's so much fun to talk to guys about like girls that they like i think like i don't know if i'm the only one that does this but like if i have a really good guy friend i talk to them about like the girls that they like and the guys that I might have like a crush on or something. Um, a few years ago, I can't remember what grade I was in, but we decided that crush was one thing and like or like like was another. So a crush is just like when you think a guy is cute and like you find their personality like nice and things, but you wouldn't date them. You just have a crush on them. It, it would almost be like the equivalent of like I don't know, like a movie star or something that you have like a crush on, like you can never date them, you know? Unless you're serious about it, just keep it friend zoned in 8th grade. Because most likely it's not gonna last. Like, I'm not just saying that, I like I promise you, they are not the person that you are going to marry and it is not worth it, just have fun. Okay, the next topic is homework and this is an easy one for me. Um, I kind of struggle with this a little bit only because, um, I'm a runner and right after school I would come home and I would run right away. So I would get that over with and then I would shower, I would most likely eat and then it's like 7 o'clock or something and I still have my homework. Now if you don't have a sport right after school, get your homework done. It is so much easier to just get it out of the way and then you can do whatever you want afterwards. But if you leave it till the last minute, then you end up not wanting to do it. And then you're, I would just like start like bawling because I have so much to do and I just don't want to do it. Like you're so tired. That's another topic. I'll write that down. Just seriously, just get it done. Get it out of the way. So then you have some you time. You can do whatever you want. The next topic, the next two topics actually are projects and projects that have long term like due dates. Like, if they're due in, like, two weeks or a week or something, seriously, start them that night. Then you'll have, like, motivation for the next couple, like, days or whatever. And you're like, oh, I started it. Like, I know what I'm doing. But if you leave it to literally, like, three days and you haven't even read the directions yet and you're like, what the heck do I do? And then you're going to feel bad when everybody else is, like, almost already done. And you're like, oh, my gosh, like, I don't even know what to do. But if you read the directions, like, the first... Just, you know what, just read the directions. Even if you just read the directions the first night, or if the teacher has told you, just figure out what you're gonna do. Make a plan so you know. Make a, like, a little schedule for yourself so you kinda have something that you're like, all right, this is what I'm doing. Sorry, the light kind of changed a little bit. But anyway, for projects, just start them and do them as quickly as you can so that you aren't doing it the last night and you aren't stressed. Okay, the next topic is food. This is kind of a weird one. The reason I have food is because as we get older, more 
we kind of get like more interested in food like not so much myself because I'm not so picky that I don't like things but I'm like very picky because I'm kind of like a health nut and I'm also like an exercise like I don't know like an exercise junkie and like a health nut that those are like the two like things that I kind of like categorize myself as so I don't really struggle with this as much but like I I know a lot of people that do like when when you're at a party and there's a lot of different options go the healthier route like I promise because I know you might just be like oh yeah like it's just one time I, I'll do another video on this because I feel really strongly about this but I think that if you eat beautiful things like fruit and veggies and anything not anything but most things with like natural colors it will make you beautiful from the inside out and I know probably a lot of people have already told you this and I think it's really important but your body is not just a trash bin you can't just throw whatever you want into it you have to give it the right fuel if your car is diesel you can't just put regular gas in it your body is your temple I don't know if you've heard that before but like your body is like you. You only have one body. You need to take care of it. So put good things into your body and your body will do so many good things for you. You will have more energy. You will want to do more fun things. You will just feel so much better. Even if you incorporate more healthy things into what you eat every day, then you will just feel so much better and you will be like a motivation and like an inspiration to others and that other people will want to eat healthy like you. So when you're at a party and you're at a friend's house, just say, oh yeah, like I want to have like some fruit instead of like let's have some Twinkies. That's a really important topic and just make good decisions. I mean, if you can't just like go straight into being healthy right away, just like cut out little things like at a time just like be like okay I'm not gonna eat dessert on Mondays or I'm only gonna eat dessert like three times a week or something like that and it's not it's totally not just dessert the things that you eat like fried things are bad for you red meat is not very healthy for you I mean it has some benefits but you can you don't you don't need it I mean I'm sure you guys know what's healthy just just make good decisions. That's the bottom line. The next one kind of goes along with that, and that's exercise. Um, it's kind of a good thing to get exercise about an hour a day, but if you can't do that, that's totally fine. Like, I'm a runner, and sometimes I don't even do an hour. Like, I'll do, like, 45 minutes or, like, a half an hour, and that's just, like, running. Like, usually every day I'm running three to four miles but I know that's really hard for some people and some people can't even run a mile but I've been doing it since I was in like fifth or sixth grade so I'm just used to it now just like do some jumping jacks and like if you go on Pinterest or like Tumblr um, on Tumblr there's a girl with a blog called back on point and she makes all of her own exercise like workouts and things like that and they're just little ones that you can do like um, do them a couple times and that's fine just to get yourself started just get in a little bit of exercise and your body will also thank you for very much because that's how you keep your heart running nice and it just gets rid of all of the grunge organization is another thing that goes along with schoolwork so um, if you keep yourself organized then you won't lose papers and you'll keep track of dates that you need to meet and it will keep you on top of things. So if you have like a folder for each class and you know when homework's due and you write in your planner, like a good thing to do is go out to like Office Depot or like Office Max or something like that if they allow you to get your own things and get a cute one that has like, um, a pattern that you like or like a different color so it kind of like encourages you to like write in your like planner like if it's like cute it like draws your attention and like get some like fun pens and stuff so you can like write your classes in different colors and it'll just like motivate you to a stay organized and b do the stuff that you have to be organized for